Uh, we have a breaking news update on that shooting at Omaha Northwest High School. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bill Shammert. Uh, this is at 82nd and Crown Point. Omaha police tweeting just one minute ago, excuse me, posting on X that the school is secure. An individual believed to be the suspect in the shooting has been taken into custody. Police will remain in the area for a follow up to the investigation and for reunification with parents. There is no threat to the community. I repeat. Let's go to the live shot so we can see the scene, if possible. From Omaha police, an individual believed to be the suspect in the shooting has been taken into custody. Police will remain in the area for follow-up to the investigation and for reunification with parents. There is no threat to the community. Here's what we know. Uh, about an hour ago or so, maybe 45 minutes, we got reports of a shooting at Omaha Northwest High School. Omaha police have confirmed a 15 year old was critically injured. You are looking live at the scene at the school near 82nd and Crown Point. The condition of the person who was shot is critical. We do not know if that person is a boy or a girl. We do not know if the suspect is male or female or how old that suspect is or if that suspect is a student at the high school. The only thing we are being told right now is that that suspect is a young person and one more time, that suspect has been taken into custody. Police are going to re remain on scene for a while. Uh, our camera crew is getting set up. That's Jessica Perez live on scene right now. OK, it looks like she's ready. Um, Jessica, we just had that breaking news update that a suspect is in custody. Uh, what's the scene like? What are you seeing? What are you hearing? Yeah, we moved over to the south side of the school right now, and we're still seeing a lot of students and Family members just gathered outside waiting for more information as to what happened. There are people that are also reuniting with people, uh, with their family, fam family members and loved ones here at the school. There's still a lot of heavy law enforcement presence. They're trying to coordinate people and telling them where to go. We are still waiting for OPD to give us information about the suspect, about who was shot, and as well as try to get a gender on that, sus on that victim as well. And uh, Jessica, have you been told a uh, reunification area, correct? Is that at the football field for parents and students? Because obviously a parent hears about this, siblings hear about this, family, friends, they're going to flock to the school. Where do these people need to go? We've had some conflicting reports, so we need to confirm that at this time. Okay, thank you. The last report we, we did have was that it was going to be at the football stadium west of the school, again, the football stadium west of the school. If that changes, we will let you know. Um, Jessica, clearly a large roped off area. What's the law enforcement presence like? I mean, is it just surrounding the school or is it heaviest on that south side? It's heaviest here on the south side. Uh, Tyler, can you kind of show them? We have an ambulance here. We have the fire department. We have most of the police vehicles here. We do have some other police vehicles kind of scattered throughout the school and trying to rope off the area to make sure that it's secure and people are safe. Now we have a few blocking off the roads and the entrances into the school as well.